On the jagged rocks of the Grand Canyon, the helicopter wreckage furiously burns. In this footage taken just after the crash, you can see people picking their way down the hillside to try to help. There's another group below, possibly including some of the British survivors. The three who died are Becky Dobson, her boyfriend Stuart Hill and his brother Jason. They were in America, part of a group of six, all celebrating Stuart's 30th birthday. She was 27, loved animals and worked as a vet's receptionist. On her work's website she wrote, I love my job and I am hoping to one day fulfil my dream of becoming a veterinary nurse. Her dad says she was very happy with Stuart, who worked for a car sales company in Brighton, where staff say he was popular and greatly respected. Here, the smiling couple are at friends Ellie and Jonathan's wedding just a few months ago. They were also on board the helicopter, but survived, along with Jason's girlfriend Jennifer and the pilot. Jason's colleagues in Milton Keynes, where he worked as a lawyer, say he was hard-working, full of energy and greatly loved. The survivors waited for more than eight hours to be airlifted to hospital. Local police saying it was difficult to reach them. High winds, brown out dust conditions, rugged terrain, and as you know, when you fly in treacherous conditions like this, you have to have special training and special people. This company, Papillon, operated the helicopter involved. In 2001, another of their helicopters crashed, killing six people on board. There are many companies who run Grand Canyon tourism flights, and one former air traffic controller who campaigns for better air safety in the US says it can be a white-knuckle ride. It's a thrill ride aspect, that they have a geography where they're flying where the pilots can provide, uh, rather than being on a, a roller coaster, it's like a helicopter platform used as a roller coaster. They'll fly along, suddenly drop down a cliff. This time, an American dream holiday has ended with a British tragedy. Olivia Kinsley, 5 News.